All right, good morning everybody. Richie Plymouth, Plymouth Lawn and Landscape. So, uh, hope everybody in Lawn Care Nation is doing well on YouTube this morning. Uh, we're getting ready to start a new property that uh, we just picked up. It's a commercial property. It's a, a doctor's office. So, but uh, this place hasn't been mowed all season. And uh, they contacted us last week and said they were kind of in an emergency. So, as you can see, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty tall. <clears throat> So of course this first mow is going to be more expensive. We're going to get them back into shape, get them cleaned up, uh, start mowing them every week and making sure that the property stays well maintained. I mean, as you can see, I mean, this grass, I don't know if the camera will focus, but uh, it's pretty overgrown. I mean, they've got grass growing up in the cracks of the, of the uh, parking lot here. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not been touched all year, so we're going to go ahead and uh, break out the mowers. we got the walker and the ferris on the trailer today, so we have to do a little bit of collecting here. So we're going to put the uh, walker to the test on this big, heavy, thick, uh, thick, weedy grass. So, and then uh, get this, we'll take care of them. we got two more commercial properties to do today. Today is Sunday. Normally we don't work on Sunday, but we did get... Uh, a lot of rain last week we actually got uh, rain from for like uh, I want to say it was six straight days of rain so I mean we got a ton of rain um, I mean it's just it's tough when it's like that but I mean you just kind of got to do what you can but uh, what we're gonna do here get it into shape and uh, then we've got uh, like I said three more property or two more properties I'm sorry we only got three today we're gonna take care of they're all commercial properties so we're gonna go get them um, and get them taken care of while everybody's off work and uh, nobody's working. So we're gonna get those taken care of while we can get in and it's easy to get to. So, but anyway, let's get at it and uh, get these uh, lawns knocked out and uh, so we can get back home and enjoy the rest of our weekend. So let's go with us. I think finally someplace I found peace in the dark of night. Tabletops counting eyes in the early hours. Stone cold inside. Banging drops, dancers, never needing answers. We wander all alone, but we can't find the street lights go. We wander all alone, but we Chasing whatever kills For so long I forgot how it feels In the dark of night Tabletops counting eyes in the early hours Stone cold inside Banging drops, dancers, never needing answers We wander all alone But we can't find the street lights gone So we got it finished up. Uh, whew, got some thick grass, a lot of weeds in it, a lot of old uh, chickweed and stuff. So, but uh, we got it taken care of, right? I put the uh, Wibong mower to, to 
to to the test on this lawn I don't really have to push mow this area here but uh, I wanted to see how that mower would handle just really thick wet clover and uh, it handled it real well I mean it uh, of course it I mean I choked it out a couple of times but you know that's that's gonna happen when you're mowing you know 12 inch grass with any mower but I mean it handled it real well um, it's got some some power when you go to hit, engage the, uh, the self-propelled system on it I mean it'll you better be ready for it it'll it'll ride a wheelie on you so but uh, it's a shaft driven mower so uh, you know there's no belts to have to worry about so but uh, it handled it pretty well I also got my first time using the golden edge uh, edger blade today I tried it out a friend of mine had one wanted me to he said here try this out so I tried it out it tore through this stuff that's not been edged in years uh, really well but it wouldn't be something that I would want to use on a on a daily basis definitely not it's uh, really too wide of a uh, of a edge as you can see down through there you know it just really throws too wide of an edge for what I like I like a, a real clean small edge so I'd prefer to use the edge of the regular edger blade so but uh, so I use the Wibong I use the walker and I use the golden edge on this uh, this lawn just kind of you know put them through their paces the uh, the walker done well uh, it sucked up everything that I needed it to, to clean up a little section back here in the back you know and we run it down through there and it uh, vacuumed up everything that uh, or collected everything that that was laying out here as far as grass goes without getting into you know having to double cut too much I think there was a couple places I had to double cut just simply because I mean the stuff's so tall I mean it doesn't matter how sharp your blades or what type of mower you got it's gonna it's going to leave some stragglers when it's this tall but you know this place is going to get better looking as we go uh, when you first clean a place up it uh, always looks a little rough so uh, the first time I mean it looks better than what it did when we started of course but uh, it'll get better looking as we go and uh, so they uh, they're actually going to sell this place and then release it is their plan so but uh, we uh, we got it cut and I think they're going to be happy with it. Said it looks a lot better than it did. Um, all the way around here, you know, it, as you can see it, uh, you know, we blew the parking lot out and uh, got everything cut and cleaned up. So, but anyway, we're going to get out of here. We got a couple more places, a couple more commercial properties we're going to do today. We got a trucking company and a, uh, a mattress warehouse to take care of. So, but uh, let's get back at it and uh, bring you guys along and. Uh, See you guys in a little while.
So we just finished up uh, one of our commercial properties here. This and uh, we've been doing this. This will be our second mow on this one. Uh, we took over from the last company. Uh, apparently, they had gone out of business or had moved or something. So we took it over. So, but we started on it last week, and it was about uh, a foot and a half tall. So we had to mow it high. So we come back this week. We're still mowing it a little high, but we're we're getting it lower. A lot of clover, a lot of wet, just clumpy stuff. I mean, it's going to take a little while to really get it. Uh, into shape and get it looking good and sorry I didn't get much more footage of it but uh, GoPro batteries suck <laughs> you know I and mean, we all know that GoPro's batteries are just terrible so we uh, I got about uh, five ten minutes of footage here and the battery died so and I just didn't bring any extra with me today so but uh, like I said this is a pretty large property as you can tell it's one of our larger commercial properties and we got it knocked out today so that leads me to a point on, you know, when you're doing your commercial properties, uh, a lot of people like to do them, you know, in the morning first thing or in the evening, you know, after they close. I like to do them after they close up for the day, uh, just simply because you don't have to be rushed on them. And I, and I hate being rushed when it comes to, uh, you know, people trying to get in and get to work. And I'd rather be able to take my time, do it the right way and, and not hurry it up. So, but... You know, it's Sunday. Um, like I said, we normally don't work on Sundays, but we just had so much rain. You know, sometimes it's better to come out on the weekend when they're closed and you don't have to worry about anybody being there um, and just get them done then. And that's what we've done to today is we come in after they'd closed up, you know, for the weekend. Nobody's here, don't have to worry about anybody coming here, you know, and being in the way or us throwing grass on cars or, or whatnot. So, but uh, we come in, got it on a Sunday, get it taken care of and uh, get it cleaned up. So all I'm doing now is just kind of walking around the property, seeing if there's anything I need that I missed, uh, need to get. It's kind of what I'm doing right now. So a bunch of new baby birds up there. So, but I mean, this is, like I said, I mean, it's a, pretty good sized place here and we got all this back around the corner it goes back around that away large field there and so um, like I said this is our second mow on this property um, there's no it's, I mean it's not real fancy grass it's just real weedy uh, you know a lot of clover chickweed and, and right now chickweed's bad so it really uh, <laughs> It just sticks to everything and just climbs all over it. But uh, so we've got a uh, little of that to contend with. But other than that, we got it looking better than than what it was when we first started on it. And uh, so, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head to the house now. What do you guys think of the new shirts, the new company shirts, the new dry fits? Uh, my Frankie Rittenhouse over at Accent Embroidery here, and where I live. Uh, if you guys you know want to check him out, check him out on Facebook at Accent Embroidery out of Dalton, Georgia. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. They, they make my hats. Uh, and I, matter of fact, I got a bunch of new hats in. Uh, I get it all the time. People want a hat. If you guys want a hat, um, I've given away about $1,500 worth of hats this year. So uh, if, if you guys want a hat, you know, feel free to, you know, hit me up and I will, I'll sell you guys a hat, you know, but I can't give any more away. I mean, I've, like I said, I've just given so many away this year. So, you know, I'm more than happy to sell a hat or, or sell a shirt or, you know, you know, wait until we have some giveaways coming up. I'd prefer to give them away, but right now I just can't give any away just simply because, you know, we just spent another $500 for hats and shirts for the year and, you know, and I just don't want to give them all away uh, before we ever even get to, to wear them ourselves. So, but uh, if you guys, like I said, want a hat, let me know. I'll be happy to say you had it cost what I pay for it. Uh, I'm not going to make anything off of it or anything like that. So, but uh, anyway, we got the Wabong out today. Like I said, we got to uh, to try it out and uh, and give it a a good once over. I mean, it's a good looking machine. I mean, you can take a look at it here. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty heavy duty. I mean, it's a heavy duty machine. So I mean, it uh, it worked hard today, and then we worked the 
Worked the Ferris and the Walker pretty hard today. Got both of them in. And they both got a little action. So, but anyway, guys, we're gonna go to the house and enjoy the rest of our Sunday. I've got one flag left to build that I've been trying to get to for like a month, and I've just we've just been so swamped with work, I haven't been able to get to it. So, that's today's plan on the agenda is to get that flag built and get that thing sent out to the customer. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell button. Get those notifications. We'll see you guys next time.